everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. And of course, Chantal went live earlier for around two hours. So if I skip over something, I'm very sorry. Also, if you hear a bunch of banging and going on, um, it's roof people. I can't really do much about it. Sorry. <laughs> Trust me, I wasn't super happy this morning when they woke me up. Anyways, with that being said, though, let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? Well, she doesn't have a ring on, and also she seems to be in a great mood. That's sarcasm. <laughs> You must be seeing the ever stuff and just being happy you have quiet and peace. Well, yeah, actually I am, yeah. But I've been through my share of drama like that, like, I don't know, you guys know I like watch Yo Mama sometimes, like, unless it's about me, then I just cut out nowadays to save my sanity, but like the other tea, sometimes I'll watch it, or if it's like a really good burn about somebody that I don't like, then yeah, I'll watch it, but, um, basically, um, one of her, like, ex-friends, who I don't believe was ever really her friend, hi, honey. So, there you go. <laughs> But Alexis did have me at the beginning, I'm not gonna lie. But then she made a channel and then made multiple parts. It's like, okay, girl. I don't know if she's monetized yet or not because it's not just a, like a simple, oh, here, let me click a button and monetize. Yeah, I can make money. No, it's a very, not a super long process, but it, it takes a few weeks to say the least. I think it was basically um, a cloud chaser, but I've, I've had my, my share of like friends who've turned on me and made channels. And, you know, I, I think if you do that, if you like go and make a channel and talk about your friend in a bad way after, I don't think, you know, I don't know. I just, yeah, I think like, whatever. I'm, I'm glad there's like peace in my life in a lot of ways. But Juliana, get the hell out of there with that. YouTube gave Swordfish a channel. Nope, mm -mm, nope, 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 ma'am. Uh -uh, we're not gonna be playing this game. You gave him a channel. You gave him a platform. You sent your followers over there. That was you. I can't, you know, it's not hard to make an effing YouTube channel. All you have to do is make a, an account. It's very, very easy. Well, by coincidence, out of the thousands of millions of YouTube channels, your subscribers just happen, just happen, by, by weird coincidence, just happen to also be watching him at the same time. It's not just a little bit strange and weird and quirky and unique. You know, it's not like I held a freaking his head and was like, oh, sorry, a pew pew, and was like, make a channel. No, 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 no. You're not going to blame me for that shit. Thank you. Maybe not for creating the channel. <laughs> Maybe not for creating the channel, <laughs> but definitely sending your supporters over to his channel. Yes. Yeah, well, that was before. I knew he was an abusive piece of crap, Juliana, so what gives? Alexis had feelings for Amber and it made they weren't reciprocated. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Honestly, I don't care. I, I'm, like, too old for this, like, high school lover weird. Like, honestly, this Alexis person is so, like, pathetic for what she's doing, in my opinion. Like, I'm sorry, but... Anyways, like trying to, like she has a soundboard, <laughs> like your mama was saying, like that was quick, you know, it, it was like she was looking for a reason to end, end it, you know what I mean? Like any reason so she could make a channel with a soundboard, you know? Well, thankfully your name's not Amber and you don't have to worry about it. Get another topic then if you like talking about it. But yeah, I don't know. I, I just don't, I can't with drama anymore. I, it's just so like not what I'm in the mood for these days. Planned and premeditated. Yeah, from what I gather, you know. And then like, just like making, like going from her like good friend who's concerned about her to making fun of her by using like things that Hater Nation would use, like saying moment and stuff like that. Like get a life, whatever, you're so fake. I hate fake people, get out of my life, goodbye. Your life, ma'am, your name's not Amber. She wants this so badly for all the eyes to be back on her whenever we have lesbian drama. Uh -uh. No, ma'am, you got you gotta have to do a little bit more than this to try to get people's attention again because whatever like this, I, got, I like cheese, it's real good. It's not cutting anymore. Mm -mm, nope, we got lesbian drama to worry about now. My boyfriend says I don't have a real life drama. So that's why I watch it on YouTube. I mean, I do watch some YouTube, obviously, like drama, but certain types of drama, after a while, it just gets on your nerves. You're just like, okay, I'm done. Like, goodbye. I mean, yeah, I guess maybe the people she chooses are just like shit. Like, I, I've, hey, I'm not saying I've ever chosen good people, but like these people that keep like using her for clout, like, and as a YouTuber, you really have to watch that because people will do the most disgusting things, like pretend to like you and be your friend. And then all of a sudden they're like, what the hell? Like, they're just like on all the hate channels, trying to make drama, just like doing the most disgusting things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, that's the thing. Like you can have your opinion on someone's lover or who they're with, but as a friend, you can give your recommendation, but it only goes that far. And then you just have to kind of mind your business. You know what I mean? Like Chantal, no matter how much you want other people to do what you want, you can't control people. Unfortunately, sorry. No matter if you think it's right or wrong, whatever, like you can't control what other people do. Unless like you're being, the person's like being severely like abused or like their life is at risk or something like that. Then you, you know what I mean? But 
I don't know about you, but I feel like, you know, warning or at least, you know, not being super a big fan of Tommy whenever her, you know, wife, not even that long ago, was not here anymore forever. If you get my drift, I know YouTube's a little bit weird with that. Just, you know, just left, quotation marks, and just met Amber, who also has major food problems. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, no, Shannon was a bit different because we were friends for like 20 something odd years, you know? Um, so I really don't think she had the intention of like, you know, <laughs> but the same intentions, but okay. So it's nice to least of geese for this person to do what she's doing to Amber. Like Amber did nothing. Like what did Amber do to her? Like, I don't, I think you guys are just like, like with people who like my haters, no matter what Amber does, it's always going to be bad. And she's always the bad person. So you're saying that there's no other people who are bad people in her surrounding. It's always, always, always her fault. That's a very brainwashed way of looking at things. Or multiple people can be wrong at multiple times. That's also a thought that I guess Chantal never thought of before. I think that you guys should open your mind more and try to be more analytical with situations. You know, like... Of course, you know, Amber's problem. Not Chantal's problem. No, no, no. Amber's problem. Don't just, like, let your hatred dictate how you feel about everything. Pot, here's Kettle. I don't know, like, I don't know anything. Like, what did she do to the Alexis girl? I don't know. Kiki, hello! I had a fast food funeral and I haven't had fast food, but I'm, like, really, I don't know. I'm craving, like, coffee and donuts, so... I don't know. I don't see Amber out here. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I honestly don't really follow the whole thing enough. So it's like they just wait, like for any little reason they can twist to like turn against you and then they instantly become a hater. Like what? <laughs> that was fast. You know, you got to question their motives at that point. And I find it really like really sad that like I was listening to like her Amberlynn's live stream when she was on the phone with Alexis and Alexis was like um, outing things about her and Tommy's relationship that she clearly didn't feel comfortable with being outed. She's like, I can't believe you're like saying that. And I, that's why I was like, is this scripted? Because like what person would do that? Like, is this scripted drama? Because like, who would do that? <laughs> you know, who would do that in real life? Chantal, Chantal would, Chantal has, and Chantal would. I don't like, I like for me, like when it, relationships end for me, I learn from them and they're gone. Like that's it, you know? I don't obsess and keep trying to hurt the person over and over and over it's like so weird to me that people are that psychotic like that's weird you know i don't know i'll defend myself against people who keep coming for me and coming for me sometimes like with stupid things like i'll clap back sometimes but the amount of times that i do it is not equivalent to you know what i mean i don't do panels and podcasts and all that stuff i don't i've had to turn down a few i'm just not ready for that kind of thing you know Oh god, the last time that she actually did do a panel was with MFW <laughs> and she roasted her a new one. And the only thing Chantal could do, turn and look away from the camera. Instead of like ending the live stream or like getting off air or whatever, Chantal was just like, I can't hear you. And then <laughs> she said that you had to be there. I don't want to, I don't want people to, like, I don't want to talk about the past. Like, it's over for me. I'm moving on. There's nothing interesting really in my life right now that I want, like, at least <laughs> things that people would want to talk about and bring up. All right, so Chantal herself even admits, like, there's nothing really going on here recently that's even semi-wet interesting with her own content current day that, you know, she could talk on panel with. I need to learn the Kuwaiti style. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what else is, is really a bad thing? Is that these, the lighter colors, they don't look good on my skin tone. They don't. They look like bandages. I mean, at least she admitted it because I wasn't going to be saying anything. But also, I really wish that she would go get a color analysis done, please. Girl, for the love of the Lord, please go get a color analysis or do it at home or something and actually wear colors that actually will work with your complexion because 95% of your wardrobe does it. So my order from Timu came in. I got this hijab. I got some shirts and pants. Um, I'll show you guys, but I got this. I ordered a pair. This is the biggest mistake ever. If you're white, like white like me, uh, and chunky, like you have a bit of cellulite, TMI, but do not buy beige leggings, okay? Don't. You look like you're nude. Yeah, water's wet. Two plus two is four. The Eiffel Tower's in Paris, like, duh. I tried them on and Salah was like, he wanted to see how everything looked. He's like, Return you're returning them? He's like, there was no question. He's just like, okay, so you're returning those? <laughs> yeah. So I was like, yeah, okay, they look bad. They look bad. They have a lot of nice cute tops though and matching sunglasses and stuff like that. So I want to do like a bigger shot, but I want to lose a bit of weight first. I don't want to buy like size set freaking six, five, six X. They go up to like eight X some ones, some of the clothes. The blue is very nice. Thank you. Oh, and I got this shirt. It's okay. I have a thing under. It's like an undershirt, coffee shirt. I mean, it's better than the hijab color, but like at the same time, that does also not go with her skin tone at all. Um, I haven't seen anybody really obese, but I guess they consider obese overweight. 
but um, there's a lot of overweight people here for the size of the country is what the statistic is. These are called, I don't remember what they're called. They're not Timbits, they're Munchkins, yeah. I got some Munchkins. While having diabetes, great job. I know, I know, you guys are gonna complain. I don't blame you. And, oh, this is cold. They smell so, the, the okay, Dunkin' Donuts, is it good where you are in the U.S. or is it bad? A mocha iced cappuccino. I've had a cappuccino. Never heard of a cappuccino. That's not even that sweet. You are amazing. Someone wrote, you are amazing on my glass. Oh my gosh, with marker. Okay, that's cute. I really, I really adore whenever like customer service people actually, they, I don't know, they, they go out of their way to be, sorry about that. They go out of their way to be just a little bit nice and it makes my whole entire day. I love it so much. Thank you to whoever does that because it does mean the world to us general public people. Oh, whoever, they probably watch me. Okay, she had me girly, ma'am. Oh my god, does that mean every single person that's been nice to me in like either the like the food industry or the, like the customer support industry, they were nice to me because I was on YouTube? I'm like, is that what that means? Oh my gosh, you all are just so sweet. Thank you so- Girl. <laughs> Stop eating the cardboard. You're weird. Wow! <laughs> They're so good. The rest of those are for Salah. Truly. Yep, and I'm a Russian ballerina that also doubles as a mime. I don't know. You are amazing. Thank you. Look, babe. They didn't write anything on my last coffee. Does anyone else get a message on their Duncan? Okay, is this like, does this happen in the US? Thanks, babe. Oh, miss, I was left on red as sniping you again. <laughs> Whatever. Nobody has Beezers like I have in my chat, okay? No one. Thank you, Mimi Cherry. Thank you for being honest, because I honestly think it's so easy. Like, I try to see things from people's perspective who are not. We need a Purbies emoji. Oh, yeah. Purbies. I was going to make you a, a moderator because if you've been a supporter and, like, been, um, you know, contributing to my channel, like, really supporting it in that way, I did that with no name, too. And you don't have to use your wrench if you don't want to. You don't have to do it at all. It's just an honorary wrench because, yeah, because <laughs> you support the channel. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so she's indirectly saying, like, hey, guys, you know... If you send some money, I might make you a mod if you want to. Maybe. Pretty sure that's against TOS, girly. <laughs> Unless you don't want me. If you really don't want it, just let me know. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, like, looking at on the outside, like, as a viewer, there's only... I don't know. I think people really don't almost objectify people they watch. Like, it's just entertainment. But I don't give it to just anybody. Like... You know, people who uh, I trust. Oh, the best lashes I ever had that never irritated my eyes were I bought, I splurged once and bought a real pair of mink lashes. I know it's like, I know what people are going to say, animal activists. I know it's kind of, now I heard that they don't, this company said they just take the, f the fur that falls off of them, but I don't know if they're caged, I feel bad. So I don't buy them anymore, but they were, they were so comfortable. This is another shirt I got. You like it or the patterns are weird? I mean, it's okay, but it's also giving me mom going to the family function down at the church at 645 and bringing the macaroni and cheese. Apparently they agree too. Does it look kind of great? There we go. Eh. I'm kind of over fat right now. I'm bloated. There's not really anything I can do, SB. Like, hi, Gracie. The way copyright works is, let's say I strike them. YouTube will require that you provide proof that you're taking them to court to sue them. You know what I mean? Like you have to sue, sue, bring them to court and I don't have copyright rights over my content. I don't know. But yeah, I just, whatever. You would, you, I mean, it's like so many people get sniped on YouTube. In theory, I have copyright rights, but I, I would have to go to court. Like YouTube doesn't take action. It's the courts that take action. YouTube just like takes it down until you give them proof that you're suing the person taking them to court. I've been down that road a few times. My YouTube manager, I reached out to them and um, they always change, by the way. Like, they, it's not always the same one. All they do is they want to get in touch with you and coach you on how to up your revenue and stuff like that. They don't want to. They don't have any say. They say that it's the, the reporting system that, like, I'd have to report the videos and stuff like that. They don't care. I asked about it a long time ago. Yeah, YouTube managers aren't lawyers, and they don't really care. It's just, like, some, I don't know, <laughs> person that works for YouTube. And, yeah, they just want to give you, like, tips and stuff like that. Like, what is there to snipe? I'm talking to my audience. I didn't say I won't get any takeout. I said I wouldn't have any fast food, but this is like sweet fast food. Why are there so many reaction channels about you? Because at one point, my, I was such a mess. I was getting like so many views off the drama of my life. Like I was a super big mess. 
when I was in Canada, before being Muslim. And people were making a lot of money off of my life, right? My, the drama of my life. And they probably got used to that income and built an audience off of that. And now they're stuck making reactions on whatever I do. It doesn't matter because they don't want to ever, they don't want to lose that income, right? Because they can't, like, and this is not just like a dig. This is just like actual fact. They can't sustain a channel off of any other content other than mine. So that's, uh, that's why there's so many reaction channels. And because they lack the ability to build a channel off of their own content. On the contrary of that coin, if there was no reaction channels, your channel would have been dead a long time ago. Well, deader a long time ago. Same, same reason Amberlynn has so many. It's like, if you want to make a quick, if you want to like try to build something, just make a Foodie Beauty or Amberlynn channel. Go for it. Hey, it might, might you might luck out. They have no creativity. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't feel right about doing that. Me either. Do you know how many times, yeah, teardrop. Do you know how many times I've tried to, like I went and set up, set up an account, like Foodie Beauty reacts back. Cause I'm like, you know what? If you can't beat them, join them. If you can't beat them, join them. I thought I'm going to react back to these people. I'm going to do what they're doing. Um, no, it wouldn't be as successful because I'm not reaction channel material, you know? Wow, it's like you need creativity or something to try to keep it semi white interesting and have to have a personality for it. Wow, isn't that just magical and weird? And I just can't do it. Like, it's not something that interests me. I don't, I don't enjoy talking, like, create being petty, even for money. Like, I don't know. Yes, I would rather stuff my face than do that. That's <laughs> 100%. Well, there you go. Everybody else would rather not stuff themselves with morbid obesity to where they give themselves type 2 diabetes. I mean, that's just a choice that, you know, me and everybody else made. Have fun. Um, I don't like to just talk about others all day. I don't like it. If you can't beat them, fight an octogenarian relative instead. She doesn't know what that word is. Hey, just beaten today. Do you know what octogenarian means? Don't tell her, chat. Her chat. They have more views. That's okay. Because people like drama. Like whenever I, my life was dramatic, I was getting like thousands of views in my chats all the time too. I'll, I'll take no drama and 400, what am I at? 482, whatever, you know? It doesn't bug me. <laughs> I, I, you know, I just go with the flow with life. Whatever life throws at me, that's what I'm gonna, you know, do. Like, I don't care. I would rather have this many viewers of good quality people like you guys than just a hate mob of people like going, attacking the same person or talking about stupid things. Like if you look at some of the people in their, in their chats, they're dumb. Like they're just because they don't ever talk about anything interesting, you know, and I would never trade you guys for 4,000 zombies ever in a million years. <laughs> but that's just the name of the game. There's a lot. There's some reaction channels who make more, a lot more views than Amber Lynn too. Like some reaction on her, who cares? Whatever. You know, I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to look at it that way. Like you have to look at it. You have to be grateful for what you have, you know? All right. Get your seal emojis out. It's time to seal. We don't have good painkillers here. At least not, not accessible to me. <laughs> the beach? It's nighttime. What if there's sand fleas? Go to the lobby. You know, you know, you're pathetic. People are begging you for, let's go to the lobby. Like, that's how boring my life is. Like, people are begging me to go to the lobby for it being interesting. Well, any sort of personality or anything, I jumped ahead because she was talking about sciatica and coffee, so no thanks. So I will be skipping forward, seeing if there's anything worthwhile. If not, I will see you guys in just a moment. Apparently they will too. All right, well, that would be a no. But with that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. And sorry for the noises, by the way. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.